what I've been doing to line the field. Um, this is the paint, a 10 litre bucket of paint. And I have buy inside in B&Q. Now B&Q have their own brand, which is uh, this particular one. It's very hard to get it. That's uh, 13 euros a bucket. This is 14 euros a bucket, but they've been doing two of them for 26 euros uh, all this summer. And anyway, 14 euros a bucket isn't much e more expensive anyway. So what I do is, I have a jug there that I bought. It's a litre and a half. So the mix is as follows. You'll put three litres from this um, into, into a, an empty bucket there with water in it. Uh, so you'll get three lines of the field, you'll, you'll get the field line three times from a 10 litre bucket. So I'll just show you in a minute what I do. What I call full jugs, so just let it drip there a small little bit. Right. Now you want to pour it into a bucket that already has water in it. And the reason for that is you'll be only sticking paint to the bottom of the bucket otherwise. So you just pour it in there slowly. Just let it drip there a small little bit. So that's a litre and a half. And obviously, I go for a second litre and a half here because the jug is a litre and a half. Again, I just let it drip a small bit. Now that actually leaves seven litres in the bucket of paint. So you'll obviously be using three in week one, you'll be using another three in week two, and you'll actually be using four litres then just how it works out in week three which means the paint is a little bit heavier but i found that the paint being heavier doesn't really make it last longer and i've tried everything now at this stage in every sort of a mix and every sort of a combination and this is what has worked out to be the best so now there are three liters of paint inside here in this bucket uh, with a water mix so the first thing i'm going to do now once i'll i'll pause the phone there for a minute I'll put in some water and fill it to the top and mix it. What I actually do with the jug is I actually put it into another empty paint bucket there and just let it soak until the next time so that um, it's some way of dissolving the paint because that particular paint kind of sticks to the jug which is important to keep the jug somewhere right. Now I have this brush handle here which I use to mix the paint with the water. Now the whole idea is you want to mix the paint thoroughly. You want it to be as liquidy as possible. Now when you're filling up the bucket with water, just don't fill it to the very top because to be only splashing out over it. Leave it about an inch to the top. But you want to mix thoroughly because if you don't mix it thoroughly and dissolve the paint fully in the water, you're going to have heavy paint on some parts of the pitch and you'll have literally white water on other parts of the pitch and the line won't hold. So you've got to mix it thoroughly and evenly. And all it takes is a minute or two and a little bit of patience. So even now as tea as I can feel the thickness of the paint is kind of thinning out now in the water. And that's all you have to do, just keep stirring it there for a while. So now I've that well mixed there. Um, as you can see, you can't dig up really any uh, thick paint from the bottom of the bucket. It's all, it's all mixed nice and loose. Now, what we need to line the GA pitch here is we need 15 litres of mix. So basically what I do is, um, that bucket obviously contains 10 litres. So what I do is, I'll empty about half of that bucket into the lining machine below. And then I'll top it back up to the top with water then, and that'll give me a uh, 15 liter mix, which allows the new water to mix with paint that's already in the bucket. But the paint is so thinned out now at this stage, uh, it'll all mix together now because if it's so thinned out, it'll all mix together when I'm walking around to be splashing inside in that, uh, the bucket of the paint lining machine anyway. And I'll also be putting in a drop of washing up liquid as well, because washing up liquid uh, makes it stick better to the grass and last longer. So now, as you can see here, I've half my 10 litre bucket in the line of machine. And obviously this is half full now again. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to squirt in my washing up liquid there into that, just a bit of a squirt. And I'll put on my hose here. I fill it with water up to almost the top again and that'll give me my 15 litre mix and it's also bubbling up the washing up liquid inside it and that gives a nice little bubbly texture
So now, give or take, if, you might need 15 litres, about 14 maybe, I suppose, in the bucket. And that's all you need, 14 will do you. So, again, just pour it in. Now, as you can see, the unit is fairly full at the moment. Now the suds from the washing up liquid are obviously there. Now there's a small bit of paint left in the bottom of it there. As you can see, small little drops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wash the bottom of the bucket there. And just pour it in as well and that'll give me an extra drop of mix. So now as you can see the bucket is kind of clean now at this stage. Now, when you're starting, as you can see, there's a slight remains of a line there. The first thing you need to do is just give it a couple of goes, just a couple of feet, just to wet the wheel and get the wheel kind of white. So go again, reverse it. And go again. And reverse. And go again. So you're giving yourself a kind of a good white wheel with the washing up liquid stuck to it. Now, as you can see here in Galbally J, most of the crowd are kind of up at this corner of the field. The line always looks better um, from the side in which you have wheeled. So if I wheel from the top corner to the bottom corner, the line always looks better, whatever way it's in it. Um, we're not a professional sub, so we're not going to do, do the line up and down like they would in the Gaelic grounds or somewhere like that. We just go one way around. So you have to go away from the crowd and away from the crowd this way and away from the crowd across the 21 and away from the crowd across the 14. And that gives you the best line from the side that the crowd are looking at. Whereas if I came from the bottom up to the top with the line, it, it kind of flattens down the grass on the way down, so it wouldn't show up as well. It shows up better when you're, when you're facing away from the crowd with the line and machine. It doesn't matter the lines down the bottom of the field, the 14, the 21, the 45 and so on, the bottom side of the field. Now at first, uh, the paint can look watery on the line. But don't worry about that, when the paint dries, it whitens up significantly. Now, funny enough, a uh, bag of uh, white lime whitewash probably brightens up better than paint, which is a lot messier for mixing and things, but the paint, when it brightens up, in fairness, when it dries up, it brightens up very well.